Well, welcome to the Bowling Point. I am Richie Ware, and if you have been with us, you know this guy's pretty famous. If you haven't been with us, this is Stephen Taylor. He is uh, over a rental division, but also a lots of boiler knowledge uh, for many, many years now, about almost 40 years that you've been with us. So Long time. Uh, long, long time. What I'd like to talk about today um, is some separator stuff. So we're going to talk with uh, a blowdown separator. We're going to talk a little bit about a flash tank um, and uh, also a condensate system. So we're going to go over three different things, all right, kind of just talk a little bit about how they all work. Blowdown separator, Stephen, talk a little bit about that. Yep, so blowdown separator, um, any high pressure boiler has it. Bring the blowdown out of the boiler, boiler into the separator. Um, this is a separator, not a tank. Tank has okay. water in it, separator does not. So the, the water comes in from the blowdown, hits this thing, goes over top of it, spins around and around, steam goes out the top, water goes out the bottom. Uh, from a, on a rental, you know, I want to make sure I point this out. From a rental standpoint, make sure if you hook a rental boiler up, any boiler you hook up, you never reduce that drain. That has to be gravity. You can't run it back uphill. You can't dump it into a pipe that's full of water. It has to be vented, go to a gravity drain. If not, that vent no longer vents steam. It vents 210 degree of water. Mm, which comes out on somebody walking by the trailer. Absolutely. Whether it's a boiler room or temporary boiler trailer unit, whatever it is, it's going to come out on top of somebody that's walking by. You don't want any part of that. So mm. just, just a food for thought, don't ever do that. So that's what happens. All the garbage that's collected in the bottom of the boiler, flushed out through the blowdown valves into the separator. Steam is vented out the top to the atmosphere. Water drains out the bottom to a sump or, or wherever they're, they're draining their effluent to. Okay, so now we actually had a, uh, somebody was watching the boiling point and actually asked a little bit about what is the difference between a flash tank and a condensate um, yeah. uh, return yeah. tank. So right. why don't we go over to the DA and we can talk a little bit about the, the, the difference, difference between, between the DA, yeah. the condensate tank, and the flash tank. All right? yep. So we're over here with actually a deaerator, and if you want to watch uh, an episode that actually you and I did on the difference between a deaerator and a condensate tank, yep. um, you can certainly click on that in one of the links somewhere up here. Up here. So, but this is the deaerator, and so maybe um, talk a just a little bit about that, but move to the uh, flash tank. Yeah, and the again, the difference between a deaerator and, and a condensate feed system, deaerator's pressurized, condensate feed system's not. The two okay. of them, their, their main goal is to get rid of the oxygen out of the water. Does better if you can pressurize it, then you can get it down, you know, 99%, whatever. Um, a, a vented feed system, 180, 190 degrees, as high as you can get it. We run these at 225, 227, something. So we just, we, it's a little more efficient, better for the boiler, use less chemicals if you use a deaerator system. Okay. Now the difference between a flash separator and a condensate system, a flash separator is used when you have real high pressure condensate coming back and either your condensate system or your deaerator system can't take that high pressure. So what you do, if you have, especially if you have a low pressure steam usage, you take that flash separator, uh, run the high pressure condensate through it, it flashes, low pressure steam comes out the top, so you can take that actually to a, like a PRV valve, going to a DA or going to a low pressure heat exchanger, use that steam there, the condensate drops out and, in, and into a, you know, a little pump station, you pump it back into the DA, back into the condensate system so you can reuse it. Okay. All that's doing is dropping the pressure and the temperature of the condensate so you can reuse it. That's what it's mainly for. Okay. Uh, that's, you know, corrugated systems, stuff like that in, in, in paper uh, pressing places. They use real high pressure steam and they typically don't, uh, don't trap it. They want that steam going through there real quick. They don't, they don't get all the energy out of it. So that energy has to go somewhere. You bring it back and you're flashing it off. A lot of places, if you don't have a use for the low pressure steam, they just flash it off the atmosphere. Mm. It's a lot of wasted energy. You need to figure mm -hmm. out something else. That's what you're doing. Um, but that, that's the difference. And then, again, the, the difference between a condensate system, a condensate system is just like a DA. Mm -hmm. It's used to pump the water back to the boiler mm -hmm. with that flash separator. That's strictly used to flash that, that temperature off, flash that pressure off, so you can reuse that condensate. Awesome. In a nutshell, that's the difference. Awesome. There's another um, video that um, actually I did with Alex Taylor, his son, um, so bringing up another boiler man, yeah. on the um, blowdown separator. Yeah. Um, did a really good job. You can see that in the link that's getting ready to pop up um, on the video as well. 
Appreciate the information. Yep. Always good to hang out, and we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. Appreciate Stephen hanging out with us today. We're obviously in Ware's Boiler University, and it's actually where we shot the uh, uh, information that we just did. And it's always great to have it. But you could be here too. So make sure you go out to our website, check it out. We are COVID friendly. We've got all of the good sanitizing we can do with our hands and uh, mask and all the things that we do from a social distance standpoint. But we'd love to see you here. Make sure you check that out. Now, don't forget, I talked about two links. They are actually down below. So go ahead and uh, click on those. Go ahead. You can click. Just go on down. Still not going to do it. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. You got it now. All right. Well, listen, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. If you don't mind, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, share those videos. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.